On November 27, 2020, just after 5.30 p.m., Tucson police officers from Operations Division East were dispatched to the 5800 block of East 32nd Street for a report of a man with a shotgun. As officers responded, additional information was provided that the suspect had pointed a shotgun at a victim who refused to give the suspect a ride to Grant Alvernon. Officers arrived on scene and learned that the suspect had also used a rock to damage the victim's windshield before leaving on foot. An hour later, officers from Operations Division Midtown were dispatched to the 2500 block of North Winstall Boulevard for reports of a burglary in progress being committed by a suspect armed with a shotgun. The burglary suspect had entered an occupied residence and his description matched that of the suspect who had pointed the shotgun at the victim in the earlier incident. This is the audio from that 911 call. Hello? Hello, this is 911. We had a call from this phone. Do you have an emergency? Yes, um, a black young guy came into my house right now with the shotgun. Okay. What is the address? North Winstow Boulevard. Okay, what is the apartment number? Okay, do you know who this person is? No, but he was running around with a gun last week, and the cops came and they, they, they what did honestly he do didn't get him. Huh? What did he do right now? Okay, so I'm in my living room, and I'm listening to music, and then I just see my door open, and it's him, and he has a big, long shotgun, and I, like, stand up, and he just comes in, and he's just, like, asking me where uh, somebody okay. is with Hold a on, red please. One second. So is he still there? Did he take off? No, I don't know. I came okay. upstairs. All right. Take a deep breath. Uh, We're sending some help out to you. Now, did you see him walk out or no? No, I don't know. I just locked the door and I ran in. He cocked his shotgun okay, at me, too. What door did you lock? Huh? What door did you lock, ma'am? My screen door. Okay. So did you lock the screen door to the outside of the home? Yes. And the, the big outside door. the home while you did that? Yes. Okay. And then How he long shot ago did you see him? How long has it been? Like five minutes? Ten minutes, probably like seven minutes the most. Hey, and did he point the shotgun at you? Yes, and he cocked it back. <laughs> a TPD canine officer who had responded to the earlier incident was already in the Grant Alvernon area where the suspect had expressed a desire to go and was the first to arrive on scene. He found the suspect and gave his location to the Tucson Police Department Air Support Unit, which was next to arrive. The suspect pointed the shotgun at the police helicopter. The canine officer then approached the suspect and gave commands for him to drop the shotgun. The suspect did not comply. Shortly after, the officer discharged his firearm twice, striking the suspect both times. Other officers arrived and immediately began rendering aid using their individual first aid kits. What follows is body-worn camera video from the canine officer who discharged his firearm. From his vantage point beyond the fence, he can see the suspect is engaged with people outside of an apartment. You'll hear the officer give the location of the suspect over the radio. Then you'll hear the clicking sound of the suspect racking the shotgun, a move that prepares the weapon to fire on two separate occasions. You also hear the officer say, the suspect is pointing the shotgun at the air unit.
Is anybody coming? Copy. The resident pushed them outside and they're arguing out in front. We're at the very southwest corner. Back into the doorway right now at the apartment. He's pointing the shotgun at the helicopter. The suspect was transported to Banner University Medical Center where he was treated for his injuries and is currently recovering. He has been identified as 27-year-old Isaac Daniel King. In their investigation, Tucson Police Department learned that Mr. King had entered two separate homes with people inside in the 2500 block of North Winstall Boulevard and pointed the shotgun at victims in each. Additionally, Mr. King is being charged with the attempted armed robbery of the church's chicken on November 23rd less than a week before this incident. Here is a surveillance photo of that robbery. Investigators with the Tucson Police Department conduct the criminal portion of these investigations, while the Office of Professional Standards, also known as Internal Affairs, conducts a separate but parallel administrative investigation to examine the actions of department personnel. This is standard protocol in all officer-involved shootings. When complete, these findings will become public record. The officer who discharged his weapon, Matthew Mers, is assigned to the K-9 unit in Operations Division West and is a 21-year veteran of the department. Here is a photo of the shotgun that was in the suspect's possession at the scene. And here is a photo of the suspect. Once Mr. King is released from the hospital, he will be booked in the Pima County Jail on two counts of prohibited possessor, two counts of burglary in the first degree, five counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, one count of disorderly conduct with a deadly weapon, one count of attempted armed robbery, and two counts of endangerment. 